Hi, welcome. This video is all about postmenopause and the changes that accompany it. Erratic hormonal shifts beginning in perimenopause often cause lists of symptoms and discomforts, many of which ease up and even disappear when hormones calm down and become far less manic with the arrival of menopause. Fantastic news! However, that permanent hormonal low in postmenopause, unfortunately, often comes with its own list of problems and frustrations. Here are 10 symptoms and changes that often occur in postmenopause. 1. Body-wide dryness and thinning of the skin, loss of collagen and natural oils in menopause, and changes to the regulation of fluids in the body cause the skin to become much drier, thinner, and far less elastic. Blessing women with itching, skin conditions, wrinkles, and skin that is much more prone to damage. Have any of you noticed constant mystery bruises in midlife? I know I have. I honestly have the arms and legs of a 10 year old boy right now, and I can never remember an event that could have possibly caused that many bruises. And these skin changes affect every inch of skin all over the body, including the vagina and bladder. Many postmenopausal women begin to have significant issues with atrophy, causing UTIs, incontinence, vaginal infections, pain, itching, and even micro tears from chronic irritation. Skin creams, hydration, vaginal moisturizers, and low dose estrogen creams can help. Number two, hair loss. Many women are absolutely panicked about hair loss in midlife. Decreases in estrogen and progesterone mean an increase in the effects of androgens, making the hair thinner, slowing the growth, and increasing the loss. Losing your hair is one of the most distressing, depressing things that could ever happen to a woman. Believe me, I know. Most of you who have been watching my videos for some time now, or who are in my support group, know that I have lost most of my hair, and now wear a wig. Apparently, hormonal hair loss in menopause is usually not permanent. I seem to be in the minority and my hair is not coming back. But there is hope that all of you ladies out there suffering from hair loss will see an eventual return of your beautiful locks. Number three, climbing blood pressure. Estrogen helps keep blood vessels healthy and flexible and promotes proper blood flow. When estrogen is at a permanent all-time low in postmenopause, blood vessels become stiffer and blood pressure rises. Many of you have expressed your concerns about rising blood pressure numbers, but there are a few things that you can do to help. A healthy diet and exercise can make a huge difference to your numbers. So consider making a few lifestyle changes if you'd like to try and work on lowering your blood pressure numbers naturally. Number four, climbing cholesterol numbers. I've had many of you tell me that you were completely shocked to see your cholesterol flagged as high in your blood work. Unfortunately, rising cholesterol is quite common after menopause. Estrogen helps regulate the metabolism of lipids in the liver. When it drops in postmenopause, LDL cholesterol and triglycerides tend to rise. High fiber foods bind to cholesterol and prevent them from being absorbed. So increasing your fiber intake might help. Ditching sugar, trans fats, and saturated fats will definitely help as well. Number five, changes in body composition. If you haven't noticed the addition or redistribution of fat in perimenopause, you're more than likely noticing these changes in postmenopause, especially around the midsection. Low estrogen decreases metabolism and causes an accumulation of visceral fat in the abdomen. It also affects muscle mass, making your battle against gravity far more apparent. Breasts that seem deflated and migrating closer and closer to your knees. The infamous bat wings. And thighs and back ends that are way more jello-like than you're comfortable with. Exercise can go a long way in your battle against gravity, ladies. Especially weight-bearing exercises. Number six, mood disorders and mental health changes. These things usually start kicking in when perimenopause hits, but when estrogen is at an all-time low in postmenopause, these disturbances are often exacerbated. Anxiety and depression is often a concern, 
Coping is difficult and many women find their quality of life affected at this time. Withdrawing and becoming more introverted is a common phenomenon. I definitely prefer the comfort of my own home now and I usually only venture out when I absolutely need to. Peopling is definitely not a favorite activity anymore. Number seven, hot flashes and night sweats. These unpleasantries often begin in late perimenopause, but continue well into postmenopause, usually becoming much more bothersome for some time before they eventually ease up. I've noticed that my hot flashes leave me actually feeling feverish now. I've gone from a slight warmth to a full body flaming heat. I've been lucky enough to avoid the sweating, but I've heard from many of you that you're actually having to change wet bedding now due to extreme sweating. Fortunately for most women, the night sweats and the hot flashes usually ease up substantially and even disappear. Number eight, insomnia. This is a royal pain in all stages of menopause but it seems to be far more disruptive for many women in postmenopause. It's sometimes tied to the exacerbation of hot flashes and night sweats, but can also be due to increased anxiety and depression or a shift in the sleep-wake cycle. Finding ways to improve these issues and developing a proper sleep routine can help. Number nine, loss of bone density. Estrogen is protective and helps regulate bone metabolism. The permanent estrogen loss in postmenopause can lead to porous, weakened bones. Foods rich in vitamin D and calcium and weight-bearing exercises can help with issues such as osteoporosis. Number 10, increases in blood sugar and insulin resistance. Many women notice their blood sugars climbing in postmenopause. Some are even given a new diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. Estrogen helps optimize insulin, and when it's at a permanent low in postmenopause, insulin resistance is a very real possibility. While some symptoms and changes can persist in postmenopause, they often decrease in intensity, and you can make lifestyle changes to improve them. I hope you all see ameliorations in your well being and symptoms in postmenopause. Wishing you all health, happiness, and peace of body and mind. Subscribe for more videos on menopause. And check out the link to my support group in the description if you're interested in chatting with other menopausal women. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.